course, that's not what we have in modern societies. We're constantly eating. So sort of bird's eye view here, based on everything that you've done and you know from the literature in animals, and based on everything that you know, we know about the human side of this, what's the bottom line here in terms of obesity and fatty liver? Are soybean oil and high linoleic acid oils obesogenic and do they cause fatty liver in animals? And is that also likely to be true for humans as well? What would you say? I would say yes. All we can say is that we know that soybean oil definitely makes the mice obese and will presumably make is making humans obese as well. But there has to be this reconciliation, not a reconciliation, but a, we have to have a, a, an active scientific direct conversation about really how much LA is good for you. Because American right. Heart Association is keep putting out that more and more LA is good, but it's like, how do you then? Well, you know, I mean, they're, they're basically saying it's good because it lowers LDL cholesterol, period, end of analysis. What's funny about everything you just told us and what we're talking about is I just got back from Florida from a conversation with Ganesh Holiday, whose lab studies the effects of polyunsaturated fat, fatty acids on heart health. And basically yeah. what they find is that similar diets to what you use, high in linoleic acid, make outcomes in mice from heart attacks even worse. Okay. So there's, there's, it's not all good when it comes yeah. to cardiovascular health. The analysis of the A, as far as I can tell, is simply LDL goes down, therefore it's good for your heart, period.